Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going into the uh, equation to define the photoelectric effect. So in the last video I spoke about what the photoelectric effect was, now I'm going to go into the equation of it. So I said a photon comes into this uh, material, into this material and an electron will leave. And if you have, re if you have given it enough energy that it leaves, it will have some kinetic energy when it goes. And I'm going to call that EK. Now, to actually liberate an electron, and that's important to know, that the photoelectric effect is the process of liberating an electron from the surface of a material that actually takes a little bit of work you are literally trying to have an electron leave its very stable nice and comfy place of this metal and you are you are asking it to leave and that is going to take a little bit of work it's going to take some energy and we call that that energy the work function it's labeled by this letter of phi here this is the work function and this is the energy needed to liberate an electron if the photon hasn't got enough energy to even get it out from its material this doesn't happen okay if this the photon gives it more energy than this, we'll have some kinetic energy. So I'm actually going to look at the formula here, and I'm going to use the basics of conservation of energy. That my energy in equals my energy out. So my energy in is my photon. So that is my H. F. And the output is the amount of work to leave, so that's the work function, plus if there's any left over, we'll have some kinetic too. This equation here is the one on your data sheet. That the energy in is the work function plus the kinetic energy. Now, this is important that this work function is a material property, but it can actually change within the material. The reason I said here is that from the surface of a material if I try to get an electron that was really deep in the material, that's going to take more energy to actually liberate. So this work function will change if you are trying to get electrons that are deep inside the material. The ones on the surface will have the lowest work function because they're right on the surface of the material. So this formula here HF equals uh, work function plus kinetic energy. We can <coughs> look at this and talk about, about the thresholds, the limits. If this does not even equal the work function, you will not liberate this electron. And this is what we call the threshold frequency. It is the minimum frequency to, to basically match the work function.
which means the kinetic energy would equal zero, but it has left the material. So if my work function was, let's say, two electron volts, and I want to find my threshold frequency here, I could use the formulae. So, two electron volts. First of all, I need to convert that into joules. So 2 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Equals 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19. So I know, joules, this is the minimum amount of energy I'm going to need. So I'm going to put that into my photon. Energy equals HF. So I've got 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19 equals 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 F. F equals this one divided by this one. Oops. So 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 To apologise, it's 4.82 times 10 to the 14 hertz. And with that information, I can even work out its wavelength. So, 4.82 times 10 to the 14 hertz is my frequency. C equals F lambda, lambda is C over F, so that's 3 times 10 to the 8 over 4.82 times 10 to the 14, so that is 621, or 622 times 10 to the minus 7 metres, which is 621 nanometers, which is putting it sort of in the yellowish boundary. Okay. So this is the kind of idea with the photoelectric effect. It's all about energy conservation, that the amount of energy in is the amount of energy out. This work function is the energy needed to liberate the electrons, to even get it out of the material. Anything left over is a bonus and it's kinetic energy. The threshold frequency is the energy that this photon needs to be to just even liberate the electron from the material. Anything more than that, and you'll have some kinetic energy left over. That is the equations that are relevant to the photoelectric effect.